and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a vlog. Um, I'm going for a checkup later to check on baby boy and I want to get the last couple of things for the hospital bag and I just thought I'd make it a day in the life. I already had quite a productive morning. I've been cleaning and uh, I just got myself ready. I applied a really natural makeup look and as you can see <laughs> I'm out of breath. There are just a few weeks left uh, until we meet our baby and I just can't believe it. The time goes by so fast, especially the third trimester. So yeah, I want to get everything done. I'm in nesting mode. So I'm going for a checkup later and they will also do a CTG scan, I believe. In Dutch it's called a CTG scan. If it's called different in English, I will put it here. And they're also going to do a ultrasound so I just hope everything is okay and that he's maybe already in the right position that will be great and so yeah I'm gonna take you guys along today if you're new here on my channel welcome I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmis Turkey and I make a lot of pregnancy related videos at the moment but also vlogs lifestyle and fashion so if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started with the video so this is my outfit of the day this maxi dress um, maybe you saw it in my last video. I'm wearing the same dresses over and over because I just don't fit in most of my things anymore. So yeah, this is very comfortable. Um, so yeah, let's go to the hospital. So we just came to the little shopping center. They got lots of shops here. Elsie Waikiki, Flo, Watsons and Ebebek. And we are going to Ebebek and Watsons. I need to pick up a few things, the last few things for my uh, hospital bag. You also got a really big car for here on the side. We've got a flow here. Here on the side is LCY Waikiki. So we just bought the last couple of bits and now we're on our way to the hospital. I will show you later what we got for the hospital bag. Um, so yeah, let's go see our baby boy. So everything is perfect with our baby boy. I'm so, so thankful. Um, he didn't show his face. He had his hands like in front of his face. So I didn't have a nice ultrasound picture, unfortunately. But he's doing really well. He already lays with his head down, which is also really good news. So hopefully he will stay that way. The doctor said that it's very unlikely that he's going to turn now. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, so we went to Ebebek and I picked up the last couple of things. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have much time. I wanted to take a look at all of the clothing items. They had lots of discounts. Like I said, I didn't have much time. So I just picked up the things that I needed. So I will quickly show you what I got. So the hospital gave me a list and I needed to bring some cotton pads. I guess if your baby is kind of um, sensitive for the wet wipes, you can use this. So yeah, I will have a look if I need it or not. Otherwise, I can always use it to remove my makeup. So yeah, I got these cotton pads. So I already got a bottle from Philips Avent, but the, how do you call this? Flow teats were um, for three months and up. So I bought these online and these are for newborns, but unfortunately they didn't fit. So I got another uh, bottle and this one is for newborns. And I don't even know if we we're going to use a bottle, but the hospital said that I needed to bring one. So yeah, I got this uh, Philips Avent Natural 
uh, bottle. This is especially for newborns. And then I got a few of these extra ones. And then I also needed to buy some special underwear. Um, this was also on the hospital list. A... Um, breastfeeding bra and also some uh, maternity uh, underwear so yeah i'm not gonna show it but i got also those so yeah that's everything that i got from a bag just the things that i needed like i said i wanted to take a look at all of the clothing items but i just didn't have enough time and then i also popped in uh, watson's because i needed a few items so i got my favorite conditioner because it was all finished up this is the l'oreal uh, dream long conditioner and i'm using this for a while now and it doesn't focus yeah <laughs> i'm using this one for a while now and i just really like it then i also got some organic cotton pads these were also on discount and then the last thing i got was a new moisturizer this is from nivea the nz uh, wrinkle moisturizer with grapeseed oil vitamin vitamin e and a uv filter so i also picked up this so i think what i'm going to do now is sterilize the bottles and also um, the pacifiers i haven't done that yet and i think it's smart to do it now uh, so i can pack it in my hospital bag i will show you my hospital bag in a second and um, i already started packing it so yeah i think i'm going to do this first so i can also put them in there okay so these are the things i need to sterilize and um, the philips avent bottle I'm really scared that I go ruin it, um, but I guess it's okay. And then these three, these um, pacifiers from Philips Avent, and then I got two from Divrax. I looked on the website and they said that these need to boil for three minutes and the Philips Avent uh, for five minutes. So I guess I'm going to start with the Divrax um, pacifiers and then after I will do this. So these ones have to go in for three minutes, these for five, and then I'm going to put them on a paper towel and then hopefully I won't ruin anything. So everything is sterilized, so I will put it later in uh, these plastic um, holders. So everything is nice and clean and can go in my hospital bag. Okay, so for the hospital bag, I thought I pack a little suitcase for my husband and I. So all of our clothing, pajamas and all of that will uh, go in here. And then for the baby, I got this bag. And as you can see, it's quite big. I already put some wet wipes, diapers and um, some other items in here. And yeah, let me know if you like to see a separate video, if you like to see a what's in my hospital bag. Also, if you have any tips that you say you need to bring that to the hospital, please let me know in the comments down below. I obviously got a list from the hospital itself, but uh, maybe there's something that you say, uh, don't forget that. So yeah, let me know. So it's the next morning and I totally forgot the anti-vlog. As you can see, I just woke up. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!